All right, guys, this is Modern Boy 316 with another video. I've got Todd Wagner here from uh, Black Tide Gaming. It's me. Yeah, he's, he's ready. Uh, to, today, we're doing, uh, I'm doing my top five favorite things in wrestling, and he's going to do his top five uh, worst things in wrestling. Because yeah, I couldn't think of anything good. <laughs> All right. Uh, for me, coming in at number five, I, I think uh, one of the things that I like about wrestling uh, in general is that there's a lot of options out there. There's Ring of Honor, there's New Japan, there's WWE, that's what I NXT. Had. That, that was one of my like two things I wrote down. That, that's that's what I like. There's a whole lot of options out there. Number uh, four, I think uh, there's more access than there's ever been to uh, to finding uh, uh, wrestling matches or wrestling in general. You can go to YouTube. You can go uh, on, on uh, Ring of if Honor side, New Japan, you. You, New, <laughs> New Japan side. You can go anywhere. Oh. It's more accessible than it used to be back in the day. Like yeah. Take trainers and stuff, and now you can just move anywhere. It's right there. Uh, coming in number three, I think uh, in wrestling right now, they probably have the best talent pool they've ever had. That's one of the things I like about them. They've got great talent and every company they've got talent. That's, that's the, a good thing there. Thank you for that one, Mark. <laughs> I was thinking of a fifth thing, but that just uh, solidified it. You're, you're, you're welcome. Uh, coming in at number two for me, I think actually every company right now, what I'm liking is they're not using the women as eye candy, but at least they're, they're making at least a, an effort to include the women in, in a lot of high profile stuff. Mark, that's what we want. Eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think they're doing good for the women's movement and stuff though. They're, they're doing pretty Dale, good. Dale, what'd you think of Brock Haney's matches? Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my number one thing that, that I like about wrestling is that they can still have good matches even when a storyline is crappy, I still think they can still put on great matches, and they still can. That's what I like about it. That last one, was you talking about WWE or just in general? In, in general. You know, I was going to say, does WWE don't have good matches? No, in yeah. general, they can still do a good match without a good storyline. I, right. I like that. Here's my worst five of my top 100. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is inconsistent stories. Where they'll have a storyline going, and all of a sudden the next week they just forget about it. Yeah. And it just, oh, I can't really think of any off the top of my head because I haven't watched it in so long. Except for, oh, 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 my belly's rumbling. Oh. Uh, but yeah, inconsistent stories just. Well, see, like what? Like, like the Hornswoggle thing with, with, with Triple H and McMahon and uh, that. Who was it? Yeah, and, and uh, uh, McMahon blowing up in the limousine. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They were never going to be conclusive of what happened. No. Like, Benoit did well, it. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Benoit did it. <laughs> Benoit did it. No, if it hadn't been for that, we probably never would have found out what the hell happened. Oh, no, he would just be going, like, who pushed the uh, scaffold on him when he was doing the money thing? Yeah, that was never resolved. No, no, never did. No. And there's been a lot like recent ones too, but I just like I I, I just check the results and I see how stuff changes from week to week, and I'll watch a highlight randomly, and it'll be completely different from the week before. And I'm well, like, he, uh, didn't he go? Well, like, like with Lashley, when he turned on Leo Rush when he lost the Intercontinental next night, next they were teaming back together. together. Okay. Cool. See, and see, uh, well, what I well, Vince even said he said people don't pay attention to the storyline, so I can change them, and they'll never know. Because he thinks everybody's dumb. And see what I what I don't what I like what I don't like now is all of a sudden right before WrestleMania they were all on Kofi's bandwagon. Now they're saying oh he's the worst champion ever. Who's saying that? Look, the people online that saying oh they're the worst, worst people he's the worst champion ever now. And before Mania they were Kofi 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 and they were all excited. Like, well, yeah, well, well Kofi does suck. Well yes he, I know. He's plain and in New Day's terrible. So it was good to get him and get get his moment, but get the title off him now, Jesus. Well I'd rather have him the title than some people they put it off, but. At least they put it on him. He's probably the best one in the new day. So at least oh yeah, uh, new day, yeah. Yeah, but anyways, they need to do something with like the, the other new day members turning on him or something. That's what to I make think. spice it out. That's what I think. When they had Owens in there for a brief time, that he's turning heel. He's going after him. I hope he beats him, and I hope his his uh, uh, Biggie and his <coughs> Owens cost him the title. Like, yeah. I hope they turn on him. All right, number two. Uh, you said that they have talent, but they don't use talent. That, that's what I'm, ta I'm talking about WWE because the other the other organizations do well. Be but gone, folks. But, but I said <laughs> I said they have the best talent pool they've ever had. They just don't know how to use. Oh them. yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It is. And I, I like how it just comes to WWE because like I don't really find a lot wrong with the other organizations. But yeah, they, they got all this talent and half time they don't use them. And well, like the, the Viking Experience Raiders, Riders, War Guys, well, and, and the Revival, and there's just so many then. And look at all the people that are leaving to go to different companies now, cause, and Vince is trying to 
suck their asses to keep them there and it's not working because you screwed up for so many years. What, what makes me laugh is NXT's under the same umbrella as WWE and they're doing amazing. They're well, way better than the main roster. Because Triple H runs it. Yep. And SmackDown's slightly better than Raw because Triple H does that too. Yep. And he does 205 now and that's become good. Yep. But Vince puts his hand in something and turns to shit. It's the same company, it's under the same umbrella. Why do you have to change their names? I can see if you're going from Impact to WWE. Yes, change their names because it's copyright and shit, yes. But if it's under the same umbrella, keep the same names from NXT going up to the main roster. Well, WWE changes their names because they want to own them. But that's what, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like for the copyright and shit. If they go from Impact to WWE. Yeah. Like, oh, that guy's got a cool name now. We'll call you uh, Terry Tutu now. Uh, next one, Too Many Shows. Well, question, yeah. I agree with that one. Once again, this is with WWE because everybody else has the right amount. Yep. Like one weekly show and a pay-per-view here and there, but WWE's got Raw, SmackDown, 205, NXT, I think Superstars is still... I don't main think event still on. Main event. Yes. And they've got the NXT UK and stuff if you yeah, still have access to that. NXT UK, the pay-per-views. It's yep. just like, holy man, what are you doing? And they all stop. Back in the day with Superstars, Wrestling Challenge, and yeah, Prime Time Wrestling. Yeah, but you usually didn't get them though. No, that's Like, true. I only got Superstars back in the day. Yeah. And like, I'd see Calvacate or, or, or uh, Wrestling, Wrestling Challenge like once in a while, but Superstars was the only one that was on weekly. Remember the guys had an made event, that was a good one. Yeah, oh. I, I, I saw a few of them back in the day that we had, but they didn't show them very often. Uh, but yeah, too many shows. What are you doing, WWE? Dumb. Oversaturation. Uh, next one, your hardcore matches suck. WWE again. In my opinion, when you have a, a, a feud, keep it at three. Have a cage match, have blood. That's how you finish a feud. Boom. That's yeah. how you, you should only use a cage match for blood, and for God's sake, bring back blood. Like, like even, even, you don't really need blood, just have good hardcore matches. Like Shane and uh, Miz at WrestleMania, that was fantastic, that was such a good match. Why can't you do that all the time? Even I, think it's just, I think it's just they're all afraid to take bumps now, because they're all wusses. They don't want to do anything. They just want to go out there and have their five minute match and go back and get their money, and they don't care about the business anymore like they used to. Triple H Batista was good through the whole That was a good match. Like... For what it was, for the whole bar. Oh yeah, that one. That, that was cool. Cool. Yeah, that was good too. But it was, it was really good for people who were tripping over their own feet because they're clumsy old men. <laughs> but it was still good. Yeah. Like man, it's just like like we watched that TNA one, and they had two hardcore matches on there, and they were fantastic. Especially that dead Full Metal yeah, Mayhem. Yeah, that, awesome. that match was insane. Yep. And like you didn't need blood in it. But they still have blood on the show and every in other, the world title match. Every other company can have a pod runner. <laughs> oh yeah, Crazy Paul, Canadian Shore is off top rope. Yep. At, uh, on NXT they do pod drivers. Wow. Like not straight up pod uh, drivers, but they do Canadian Destroyers. Scott and Cole, that's one of his main moves. With, off, the, off the middle rope that when he jumps yeah. off, yeah? Yeah, like he, he does, Triple H lets him do it, just Vince. Get rid of Vince. Hashtag... Get rid of Vince. Screw Vince. <laughs> and then my final one is... Again with WWE, I just I can't think of anything really bad with the other company. It's the terrible commentary. Yeah, please change the commentary. NXT's got good commentary. Yeah. Well, except for Percy. Percy sucks. But like the main roster is terrible. Other than Corey Graves, the rest of them all suck. He's the only good one. Um, occasionally when they have Booker T. Yeah. Every once in a while. Yeah, Booker, other than T, Booker T's a little weird though. Yeah, yeah. Like he's good to hear once in a while for like a match or two, but my god man. When they young just make... sucks. <laughs> oh, Renee, oh, get her out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Holy jo- Oh! Oh, what a move! <laughs> oh my god. What a goof. Oh. That's what. Oh, what a goof. But yeah, they need better commentator. Oh yeah. But they got Vince barking in the ear all the freaking time. Stupid. Hey, that's what I heard. Back in the day, when JR and King did commentary by himself, I guarantee you Vince was not in JR's ear. They were, they were just going off the cuff and saying... Well, he oh. probably was in their ear, but Vince let him do stuff back then, and plus they probably wouldn't listen to Vince half the time. They probably just like, well, I'm just going to say whatever I want. Same thing for the interviews. When Jake the Snake got a, a promo that he was going to beat somebody's ass, he was going to beat somebody's ass. They yep. said a few lines they had to say for the next pay-per-view, yes. They, they, but that was probably the only time say that, yeah, they had, they but had, the rest... They had bullet points. Yes. Mention the pay-per-view, yep. mention the guy you're fighting, mention that you don't like snakes. The rest of it, just say and whatever it. you want. Yep, that's what I liked about him, man. Back yep. in the day. Good interviews like that, man. Yeah. Now like, he got like right now, Mark gave me a script to read. Yeah. That's why I keep looking yeah. down. 
Because yeah. he's forcing me to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but uh, honest to God, I got the earpiece in. An <laughs> interview can't be that hard to, to do, man. Come on, man. Jesus, man. And if the person can't talk, put somebody that can. But yeah, that's my five. That's your five. Pretty cool. That was pretty cool, yes. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!